Welcome back to the Hillbilly RV channel. What are we doing today, Cam? Working on a really, really, really tall slide, or no, awning. Patio awning. Yeah, we gotta do a, uh, we gotta do a patio awning on this, and it's, it's really tall. It's, uh, it's gonna be a stretch. Uh, well. I'm a little nervous about it, to be honest with you. We might be lying a little bit, there it is. We're, uh, we're working on a high-low today. I don't think I've ever had to replace a fabric on a high-low. This is awesome. I mean, <laughs> it's head height, man. <laughs> this is gonna be awesome. No light, don't even have to get her little step ladder out. This is, I'm, I'm looking forward to this. This ought to be fun. Uh, so uh, we was able to get a fabric, get it in a timely manner. Uh, sorry, I got some, some person doing something weird out here in the street. I guess it's weird. Is it normal for people to just walk backwards? Uh, no, that's, that's not normal. So anyhow, <laughs> that's beside the point. We're, we're up here in the city limits of Beckley today in a big, big city of Beckley. So, you know, wild things happen in cities, right? Oh yeah. Uh, I mean, we just watched this guy walk up the street, right in front of the van. Now he's walking backwards down the street. So It's going to fall pretty soon. I don't know what that's all about. Now there's a car coming down the street, so. Uh, he ain't moving. I guess uh, the car went around. <laughs> oh, you never know what you're gonna see out here in this wild, wild world. So, uh, me and Cameron, we're gonna get started on this thing, and uh, we're gonna take y'all along. So, uh, y'all, y'all hang on. We don't know what we might see because he's still walking backwards down the street. So, uh, yeah. All right, if y'all see anything strange, you let us know, okay? Give us a, give us a heads up at least. Oh, I should have probably mentioned this uh, A&E 8500 manual on it. So uh, we're gonna start by getting the screws out of these upper rafters up here. Actually, there's only one screw in this end. Let me lean this up here. All right, we're just gonna go to the other end to do the exact same thing. Uh, just get that upper rafter loose. Go ahead and pop the bottom of the arms loose. Um, they're just, you know, they're just latched on and just flip that latch and take the bottom loose, let her go to the ground. So this one's a little bit different because it has no fabric on it at all. So uh, as soon as we get that other arm loose, she's free to camper. We don't have to slide the old fabric out. All right, it's free from the camper. Now we're just gonna carry it over here and let it down. So now camera's just gonna get the uh, screws out of the awning rail. That's what used to hold the fabric from sliding around the awning rail. So I'm gonna get those out. Then we're gonna go down here and start uh, putting the new fabric on. I know y'all a long ways away, but all we're doing is taking the bolt out that holds the awning to the to the uh, arm, so we can get that released. See if there's any spring tension. No, there's not. Yeah, there was uh, absolutely no spring tension in the other end, and I would expect this end would probably be the same. I accidentally let it slip out. Oh, okay. Checking that old awning. Okay. And it split. So there's no spring tension in it, so we're gonna have to wind both. We'll have to wind both ends. And uh, that's no biggie. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, I'll take you down to the other end so you can see what's going on. Now Cameron's just gonna get the rivets. This is a and E. Uh, the cap's riveted on, so. He's gonna drill those three three sixteenths rivets out, and uh, so we can get that cap off. Yeah. 
just inspecting that spring, make sure it is intact. And uh, it does appear to be intact. So now I gotta get the old cord from the old fabric out of that tube. I'm gonna have to go to the other end. I'll tell you what, since that's got no spring tension, we're just gonna go ahead and drill that end off too. And uh, we'll get those cords out. And then we'll get ready to uh, put the new fabric in. Now we got that end off. Should be able to just work these cords right out. There we go. There we go. Pull cord out. Well, it does appear to be the right color. And we're going down there and unroll it and uh, get ready to start putting it in this tube. All right, so Domatic gives us a little plastic guide here. Goes on the end of the tube. Just helps helps uh, guide the uh, new awning into the tube. And uh, you just gotta make sure you got it turned the right way. And we also will spray this with some Windex to make it a little bit slickier. Like I say, the Windex is just for a little bit of lubrication. Makes, uh, makes life a little simpler. First two feet's always the hardest, and then it gets, uh, it gets easy after that. After you get started, it goes good. It's just getting it, getting started. Hang on, my camera. All right. Okay, had some help. Get something done. Try it now. It's a little bit cool to be doing this today. The fabric gets really stiff when it gets gets a little cool. If it were 80 degrees out here, it would go a lot easier. All right, we're there. Got four fingers from the end of the tube. I only got two. Take one more. I got two and a half. Good catch. I got almost three. Now we just have to assemble it correctly so that when we put it back on the camper, everything rolls up right. And this little bit of cord hanging out here, that's supposed to be there. If you double that over, when you slide your cap back on, then you, uh, you don't have to worry about that awning moving. Now Cameron's just gonna pop rivet this cap back on here. And then we'll, after we get the other end on, we'll start winding the spring. We're just gonna go to the other end to do the exact same thing. We're just using 3 16 aluminum pop rivet. All right, now we're just gonna go ahead and wrap this fabric around the, around the tube. Right. 
Okay. You hold the middle of it or anything? No, we're going to flip it around, actually. Oh, okay. Ready? We'll make sure when you're doing this, you don't have any big wrinkles or it's going on crooked or anything. There we go. Now we're going to start winding the springs. Now this is the scary part right here. This is the part that can hurt you. All right. This is the uh, this is the back end. So this goes clockwise. And a 14 foot awning, we're probably going to put maybe 11 or 12. I'll, I'll know when I get there. Clockwise. Yeah. Right. Ooh. Well, the battery died at some point when we was winding that head, that spring up on that head. So we're gonna come down here and do this one next. And we'll let you watch that. Don't forget you're gonna have, you're gonna have to hold it to yep, unwind right. it. Got a good grip on Okay, you sure? go counterclockwise like this Alright, thanks to the customer. He's holding on to my camera for me. The wind done blow it over twice. It's windy out here today. Uh, I don't normally like doing these awnings when it's this windy, but I didn't know it was going to be this windy. So. So we're stuck with it. We're about done now. So now we're gonna just slide the, the awning in, the awning rail on the camper, start buttoning it up. This is really the only part that you need three people for. Unless it's really windy and then you need somebody to hold your camera from blowing over on the tripod. <laughs> so let's get, let's get this thing done, get out of the wind. in here the first four or five feet is the hardest and then it gets really easy. Alright, should be pretty close. Here we're just uh, putting those uh, lag bolts back in those upper rafters and we're putting some silicone uh, on those uh, lag bolts before we screw them in the hole just to seal the hole up so no rain gets in. Hey, a bit good. That's always good. The awning's on, the upper, the upper rafters are reattached with the lag bolts. Now we're going to unroll the awning. Uh, we're not going to be able to unroll it all the way here because it's up against a building. 
I should be able to unroll it enough to know whether it's going to work okay. You're going to have to help me to get this strap around there where it belongs. Right? We may not even be able to get that strap around where it belongs. Okay. Maybe. Did you have to flip this button or anything? Yeah, right there. We will. I mean, you had to flip it to get it down or not? Yes. Oh. We'll, we'll show you all that. Yeah, here we go, Cam, I believe. Hmm. No, not quite. Yeah. I do too. Okay. All right, oh yeah. We took it in and out a couple times. It seems to be an adjustment okay. Uh, Cameron's shooting the uh, screws in the rail. In the awning rail, that keeps that awning fabric from moving around on the camper. You know, we captured it under the cap on the roller tube so it wouldn't slide. So now nothing moves. So uh, we're just gonna go over the proper technique for uh, getting the awning up and down with the customer and then uh, we'll wrap this thing up. Well, hopefully this video turns out, it was really super windy. So I guess we'll uh, really try our you know, microphones out today. And hopefully the camera survived. It took two really hard tumbles. Uh, now the fun part is putting the tools up, picking up our trash and getting this thing buttoned up. Well, it's already buttoned up. We just gotta pick up. So. Uh, as always, really appreciate you guys watching my videos. I'm not sure Cameron appreciates it, but, <laughs> well, maybe he does. I don't know, but I appreciate it. And I'd really appreciate it if you'd go down there, check out all these links down here in the uh, description part of this video. Um, go look at all that stuff. Got a lot of cool stuff in my Amazon store. A lot of RV parts, tools. Some of the tools that we use, some of the parts that we use. Uh, you got anything to say, Cam? It was kind of tall, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Uh, One of the scarier jobs. Yeah. Well, now we have done them off a 12 foot step ladder, too. So I think I'd prefer to do a high low. Yeah. Just about any day of the week. <laughs> As a big old fifth wheel, but uh, it went really smooth and I uh, really appreciate you guys. And uh, me and Cameron, we're going to go up the road and fix another one. And uh, y'all have a fantastic day. Sorry, That's all right. You, that ain't your job to just lay it down. Just lay it down. Thank you. No, you tried. It ain't your job to watch it. Put your camera on. Man, it seems to be working. <laughs> Believe it or not, it ain't the first time we dropped it. <laughs>